Hey guys, welcome back to Tealstone Homestead. This is week three that I've been out to the new farm property and I've been trying to put together a new rabbitry setup. You guys know that I tore down the Tealstone hutch not too long ago. As you can see in the background here, I have been using the scraps to put together our new setup. And the first couple of weeks I was here, it wasn't going very well, but then I really kind of nailed down the design that I wanted. And now I feel like I've finally gotten it to a point where I'm just really, really loving it. So um, I'm gonna show you some footage of putting this together. And then we're going to skip forward to what I have currently behind me. You're not gonna see a total finished project in this video because the rabbits aren't moving here until probably August, but you will be seeing what I've got going on back here and I'm hoping that it will give you guys some ideas. If you have a barn structure and you're wondering how to put cages in it, um, I think this is a really cool solution. So I'm hoping that it will be helpful to those that are looking to figure out how to put a rabbit tree inside an already built barn. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the progress videos and then we're going to talk about it. So our plastic is all hung up, looks really good. This will just help protect the metal siding of the barn as well as the actual structure of the barn because rabbit pee will destroy things. It's like battery acid, guys. It just kind of dissolves into things. So trying to make sure that I, and I protect the integrity of the barn itself. And then these painted supports here are what could potentially get peed on, but Hey, at least most of the barn is protected. talk about how exactly we put together the overall structure back here and then let's talk about how we hung the cages. 
So you guys saw me hang the plastic. This is going to be important for kind of just protecting that metal back there because I don't want the rabbits to soak it with pee because rabbit pee is corrosive. And so I want to kind of protect that. So I just put plastic behind everything. Then as you can see, there's a section here, a section there and a section back there and also a section um, back in the very back of the barn, but we're not there yet. Uh, but basically every section I am trying to put six 30 by 30 cages hung. Um, so we can have six here, six here, uh, possibly six there, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna put my 36 inch cages back there. Um, we'll get there eventually, but for sure, six 30 inch cages here and six 30 inch cages here. Um, either way, uh, back there is gonna look the exact same as this. So let's talk about this. So I couldn't just use this uh, two by four that is already in the barn structure because, um, I, well, I guess I could have used that if I just wanted one row of hung cages, but as you can see, I have two rows, so I needed it to be very specific height. So that's why I'm building into the structure with these new teal two by fours from our previous teal stone hutch. Basically what we're doing here is obviously this one, represents the bottom level of cages, and this one is the top level of cages. And I put them in by screwing in just right here so that the middle doesn't sag. And then over here, we are using joists because that was really the only good way that I could come up with that would be really, really nice and sturdy. And joists are pretty cheap. So that's why we did that. You probably see this one a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so they are hanging by joists on the original barn posts here and then just screwed into the middle. And this one is screwed in the bottom of that two by four. And then again, right here. And then our second one starts, screws in and goes all the way up there and screws into that two by four. Um, so the middle is very, very solid. I was using a level to do all of this because I wanted to make sure everything was nice and level. I am a perfectionist and we all know that. Um, so I was trying to make everything as level as possible. So it's pretty self-explanatory, just the joists and just kind of building into the already built framework. So this was the base. Now let's talk about how I did this. And I'm gonna take this bottom level of cages out so I can show you guys a closer view of uh, what I got set up down there. So as you can see, super easy to remove the cages out whenever I need to. That was one of my main qualms with almost all of the builds that I've done in the past. It's never been easy to just remove one single cage to wash and I wanted to make sure that if there was a cage that needed scrubbing down, it wasn't gonna be a mess trying to take an entire row down. I wanted to be able to take them down one by one. And I think I've accomplished that here and I'm really happy about that. So you guys saw me screw in these hooks here and this is what the back of the cages is hanging on. Um, they're just hooks, nothing fancy. They're just some really sturdy hooks that I picked up at Lowe's. Um, so I went ahead and I screwed those in and that's where the back of the cages hang. And these pieces of wood here and here and there are all custom cut pieces of wood to help my cages sit as level as possible. Um, this is what butts up against the back of the cage at the bottom. Hanging on the hooks and then they're boosted up on the bottom with these. And on the top row, you can see they're already hanging and you can see how they are butting up against those supports there. And let's open this cage. And then this one right here, how they just kind of sit up against them. Um, they just kind of push the cages forward so that they are nice and level. And then on the top row, I took it a step further and I took these uh, bolt clips and then I ran them all the way up to the beam up there. Um, all of the cages have it. Actually, you can see how I've done these two cages. So when, when there's two cages that are next to each other, I've clipped them together. And that also helps them kind of stay really level. And I'm really liking how it looks. It looks really nice and clean. 
yeah, it looks really, really good. Now you may be wondering when these top level rabbits pee and poop, it's gonna go directly on the bottom row cages. But that's because I haven't gotten my trays here yet. Yes, I am probably gonna be using trays at least at first. I don't mind trays, especially somewhere like here because here I can actually make a compost pile. I also haven't completely forgotten about possibly trying to do a sliding poop shoot like the original teal stone hutch uh, used to have because I actually really did like that. Um, it wasn't steep enough, I don't think. It was only 15 degrees. I don't actually think that this is gonna be a whole lot different, but the difference could be that we install some sort of gutter system because if we could install a poop chute like the teal stone hutch, then we could just run a hose behind all of the cages and it would sweep forward, go into a gutter, and then we could collect it that way. So I'm not opposed to doing something like that, but at first we're probably gonna be using trays because right now it's just more about getting the cages set up properly, um, nice and neat, and then later on we can worry about doing fancy stuff like gutter systems and stuff like that. So. Um, I'm not worried about gutter system or anything like that right now, but it could definitely happen in the future. I think that would be really cool. I'm still working on, like you guys saw how the, the top cages have the supports that are holding them from the front as well with the bolt clips. I'm still working on how to support the bottom level cages with bolt clips as well. It might be that we just take like bolt clips uh, on the top level here and run it down and attach it to the bottom level just as more of a support for the bottom level too. So uh, that could be an option. Um, I'm not there yet, uh, but also I think that the way that they're hung right now is probably gonna be enough support for some of my smaller rabbits. So I'm not super worried about it. Um, my mom is with babies and the heavier rabbits can go on the top row that has a little bit more support. Um, but yeah, we are gonna get, we're probably gonna get that figured out before we actually move them here. I can't tell you guys how excited that I am to actually move the rabbits here. I think that this is gonna be such an awesome place for them to be. There's so much more ventilation in here. We got this giant barn door that opens up. Probably gonna put like several box fans in here, especially for summer, um, because right now, as much as I love my little suburban rabbitry, it does have its quirks and it's a very tight space and it's very stuffy in there in the summer. So I'm looking forward to being able to just have more space to do things and have them all be in one big row or I guess two rows, but like one line on a wall rather than just having to navigate in a tiny square in my garage. So that's gonna be really nice to get them moved in here and to get that all set up. I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel pretty fancy, honestly. We need to come back with some teal paint. Yes, do not roll your eyes at me. We have got to do the paint thing here. It is Teal Stone Homestead. We have to have teal paint. It is my thing. I don't know why I, it matters so much to me, but just let me have this. <laughs> but we are gonna come back with some more teal paint and really touch up these boards because a lot of them have seen better days. So we are going to be uh, really just painting and making them look brand new. And yeah, it's gonna look really, really good. Um, and I know that the rabbits are just gonna pee on them. I know. I know that's what's gonna happen, but I don't care. I just want them to be nice and neat for a photo op, and then it will never look that good again, but it will look that way at least at the beginning. <laughs> We are gonna do a little bit of walking and talking because I have some cool stuff to show you guys because my dad has been very hard at work trying to get us out here as quickly as possible. And I am so grateful for him and my brother and my mom. She just keeps providing us awesome meals every time we come out here to work. So it's honestly just been the best. As you can see, dad has already trenched back here. This is gonna be for our electricity and our water, I believe. So yeah, he's gonna have to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is for both the electricity and the water, but he's got it that far already and he's going to bring it all the way into the barn. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, that tree is gonna have to be cut down because it's growing like right next to the barn. So uh, it's just overgrown. We need to get it cut so it doesn't damage anything. Um, and then the brush and stuff like that, we're gonna have to get all that cleaned up, but it's looking really, really good. So all of this, this leveled spot right here, you can see where they've leveled it out. Um, obviously there's dirt <laughs> kicked up from where he was trenching, but this is gonna be where our shed is. And we 
told you guys on a reveal video that it was a 12 by 30 shed. It's got a four foot deck on it and it's 26 feet on the inside or ish, ish. Somebody asked me if that includes like, you know, after we drywall and stuff like that. We're not actually drywalling. We're gonna be using beadboard. Um, we are gonna be insulating, but we're gonna be using beadboard. But um, I actually, when I was making my floor plan, I made it actually a bit uh, smaller, just so we are not surprised by the amount of space that we lose once we do insulate it and stuff like that. So you guys, it is coming together so fast. It's like crazy and honestly, I wish it would go even faster. Like I wanna be out, of, out here so bad. Um, coming out just every, uh, every weekend is not enough. Like I actually want to be moved out here like ASAP. Um, especially after our whole losing power ordeal with the heat and all of the things that ensued. I just find this setting like so peaceful and so inspiring like I'm just I'm ready to talk to you guys out here I'm ready to start doing more things with you guys out here and I'm ready to do my own projects and get more animals and just I'm just ready for this I don't think I've ever wanted anything so bad and now that we're getting it it cannot come soon enough so it's just it's really exciting so guys I really hope that you enjoyed seeing how I'm getting my rabbitry set up out here. And hopefully if you have a barn and you've been thinking about getting rabbits and you've been wondering how you can put cages in your already built barn, then hopefully this video was helpful to you. I feel like at this point, I may be the YouTuber with the most rabbitry setups that you've ever seen. <laughs> so we've got the buck hutch, we've got the teal stone hutch, we've got the other regular hutch that I did before all of those hutches. Then we did the show rabbit hutch indoors. Then we did the PVC hutch uh, and the garage, which I currently have. And now we're doing cages in the barn. So just literally so many examples of how you can house rabbits. And I love it, it's just awesome. <laughs> So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and also subscribe if you're not subscribed because I love bringing content like this to you guys. And hit that bell also so you're notified every time that I go live or upload a brand new video. I do tattooing live streams on my rabbits every once in a while. If people find that really fun, I try to answer questions and I tattoo my rabbits, so I love doing that. But with that, you guys, I hope that you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.